Idler Lord of that fucking Hamilton. That's right. I'm gender fuck. I'm gender bliss. And um, I'm a gay man. And I own my homosexuality. For many years, children picked on me at Eisler Elementary in Bakersfield, California. A couple of girls would send me home with bruised shins. And that kind of gave me a loss of psychological masculinity. I was very clumsy. I was never asked to be on anybody's team when it got to PE. The Mormons were base. The Mormon guys were basically my only friends that were nice to me, and I knew them in choir. And I want to thank you all at Highland High School. However, I have very religious family, and it's time for me to, because they've rejected me for being a gay man. A couple of them even told me that in the event I find my lover, my partner, my best friend, my boyfriend, and they get married, um, some family members told me that they wouldn't even go to my wedding. And, you know, I'm really dying to fall in love. And I would rather be accepted What do they say, that adage? I'd rather not be accepted if it means be myself than be accepted because I'm not myself. And I've had family members assault me. It's been really awful. I've had people in the gay community as well assault me. Anyways, um, I never made it. And so if there's anybody that um, I'm needing to speak through, I want you to know that uh, in these next few weeks of Valentine's Day, I'm going to slowly be unfriending family. And if you can't handle me from high school, that's fucked. Because the only friends I really had were some of the Mexican, Latina girls, and maybe a couple of fag hags, and choir people. And I'm seeking uh, celebrating my life. And I haven't really done that with joy and empowerment by putting all of the people that don't accept me, that don't let me be me, behind me. And so this is the opportunity for me to go forward and put all those negative things and those lies that people taught me about myself that I can't be gay. And if I am gay, I'm going to go to hell. My birth name is Jeffrey Scott Newton. A lot of kids were jealous of me because I was a mama's boy, girly boy. I had a little bit of privilege because I come from Sir Isaac Newton lineage. People in high school didn't know that. I played next door, across the street actually, from Greg Porter. He's a famous jazz singer. I was taught bagpipes by Jonathan Davis from Corn, And also Glenn Close has seen my acting in college and said that I was the funniest and the best actor and dancer in the musical the mystery of Edwin Drood when I was performing with her niece and his name was Danny and he outed me at Cuesta College in San Luis Obispo. I've also uh, taken a picture with Carol Channing and she said remarkable things about my work at the Top Hat Playhouse in Palm Springs, a gay mecca. My ex-boyfriend Willie Rhine uh, from Scotland uh, owned the Playhouse uh, and rented the Walt Disney Estate in Palm Springs for a period. And I also uh, took some pictures with American actor Rob Lowe. I have studied at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts and um, I've worked with Athena Talent Management, Gloria Tate, and those at Athena Talent Management Beverly. Beverly Hills, California, sort of deemed me as the male Lady Gaga. 
it's time for me to get past my depression and to practice mindful self-compassion and loving who I am so that I can get back to my body type. I'm age 51. I think I have second chances. And it's time to put prejudiced people against me, behind me. So if you want to stick with me, please message me. Please send me a, a heart, something for Valentine's Day. I'm really reaching out for love, and I'm giving you my love. Please be safe during the duration of this very strange COVID-19 saga. I love you. And remember, whatever you wear, count on Chanel. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Uh, I've been on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Jimmy Kimmel knows my name. John Travolta knows my name. I've been a volunteer human rights consultancy for two weeks for Tom Cruise, and then he directed me to his tight circle at the Church of Scientology. And he wants me to pay my way to London. That's not going to work. So, anyways, I hope to see you in the stars if I don't meet you on Earth. Looking forward to sharing my heart with you as an entertainer, performance artist. Peace out.